don't forget to alter your alarm because obviously tomorrow's a day off now so you wanted to put, knock your alarm off for Wednesday and obviously kick the one off on for Thursday so don't forget to knock off your alarm for tomorrow I've been given two donuts by the lead driver tonight raspberry ones from Tesco I says I, I, I one that I tried of yet is 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 the punch key. You know the fat the Polish fat Tuesday. I have to try and find a Polish bakery when they do them again. I have to go Google it. Yeah, all the events are now in the group. Um just got a few later zooms to add. Um not gonna bother with New Year's Eve because we can have a New Year's well one on the December twenty eighth to twenty ninth, which is no particular holidays on that day and that will be our New Year's Eve finger jig but all the events are, are there including a bit of a gap between October and November we can have a 1.5 well the curry house has closed the aroma which was absolutely divine is now gone uh, it looks like it's a former Salvation Army chapel. I've never been inside. It's called Jinnah. But oh, it smells when it's when it's on the go and brewing. Oh, looking forward to the bumper session. Cause just check on the fixture list for the Premiership for Saturday. It's substantial. Which explains why the fixture list for Sunday is pitiful. But also, the boost of bonus is Liverpool playing Saturday. Which means after midnight, I should be able to watch the full match if they win. Maybe we'll have to do that so they're going for a shed. I hope these rooms are scotch pack paper marman. If it's a lower end, uh, and, and they do knock off fuel duty, but I just hope they don't do it. I mean, I know Conservatives definitely were talking about it a while ago. And it like went off the radar. Um but now this set of cunts have now taken the mantle. Fucking out now the set of twats. <sighs> Man, I don't go really that far. Like I said I do five times a week here, which is like fifty one mile each way. And, and we just wear that different bands, I'll be lower band because I don't pay any road tax. Um, um, one day a week to go shopping, which is either Doncaster or Scumport. I don't mind if I paid like a £30 road tax, or even 60 quid a year road tax. I'd do that. It means not paying pay per mile. If you introduce that, I mean, that, this should. They're not about road tax and EV cars next year anyway. I don't, I don't see why they should be exempt. Because even my car after March 2017 would have had to have paid road tax. So why should electric vehicles be exempt? They shouldn't. Fucking things. They're trying to bully us out of our cars into electric. That's what they're trying to do. Especially the EV um, pros. The people who design and sell them. They're trying to bully us out of our cars into electric set of cunts. Uh, uh, the, the last car I want is a bastard electric, especially if it costs the bloody batteries if, when they need replacing. It's cost, it's cost of buying my car second hand. Mm. I can stick the electric cars right up their arse and those bloody hybrid ones as well because they're not even, they're less economical than anything. What I've seen, MPG is just like a, it's worse than mine, so they're less, they're less efficient. Might chuck less shout out at our end light, but the cost of insurance for these things, and when they have an accident, it's passed on to everyone else, so insurance premiums are going through the, to the moon and back. Anyway, on a, on a lighter note, uh, detracting from this, although it hasn't officially been announced by a neighbour, a labour, it's all speculation and RAC, that, that cunt in charge of RAC and his, and his electric vehicle think tanks trying to push the Labour government into bringing it in. Yeah. Don't do EVs now. Fuck off. 
Yes, um, match of the day zooms are back on. Looks like it's going to be a big one on Saturday. Like I said yesterday, be with the uh, with the amount of games, Sunday's going to be a short one because I said there's only two matches, and then there'll be highlights of, as I said before, highlights of the matches on Saturday. But be, it being on BBC iPlayer, um, we can watch it whenever. Brilliant. That's uh, Thunderball for tonight, purchased at the, uh, I think it's the Cost Cutter in Rockcliffe Village Green, at St James's Church. And now, to the shithole. <laughs> Just warm up the chips. I like Carly. So let's see what's on Billy's special offer next week. One of them will be on special offer. I think it might still be on offer at Tesco's if it's not at Asda. Zoom tonight. Oh, the classic beef. Statue was absolutely delightful. The chips. At least I know what I won't have any annual percussions with it. Now when you pick it like on Saturday I thought I'd put away with it. But oh my god I did not get away with it. Ooh. Zoom! Are you coming online and let's have a, have a zoom while you're going to be absent without leave like you were on fucking Thursday? Yeah, you know, I've had one communication after this week, and that was to announce the cancellation due to um, a lot of outgoings for September. Apart from that, you've been so. Uh, come on! I'm assuming you're having a bath, or doing pack up. Oh, Look at that classic beef. Stag chili. I'm torn between the Dan Matt Hot, which is deceptive, very deceptive. Fuck no, I, I would shit myself on the way to that shit hole on Saturday. Just mind about the time I had that pizza with that spicy sauce on the night before the airport. <sighs> just the pain halfway to that place on Saturday. It was. A good 10 minutes, 15 minutes of pure stomach pain. It eased off the final mile, but it was still there in the background. And when I sat in the toilet, it's like my whole world fell out my ass. I hope you're going to make an effort tonight, Mr. Horn. You didn't show up on Thursday. You've so you barely well, I said anything at all this week, but from that cancellation. Uh, that's a stay in touch, so come on, let's get a zoom on. But it's too late. Because the next one here will, will be next weekend, if you show up. So, uh, chop chop. Are you going to make an effort and actually talk to me this week? Do a zoom? If it's only like um, an hour thing or something? Are you going to be a stranger? Come on. Make an effort. That's still comedy hour. Roll family. BBC I player. Oh. Early doors. It'd be nice for you to be in touch. Because they've been absent all week. So. Comedy hour. Early doors or Royal Family? Well, seems you've cancelled all the fleshes for the year, which there is no reason to, because I only mentioned Nondy September. I decided to cancel Sunday. Was well, good for the goose, good for the candor. Big session next weekend. Well, if you caught up with the videos, I said I was going to restructure the fleshes, reorganise them, 
not cancelled. I did see my videos that were going to be restructured when I get round to it. For well, the moment, I've got bigger things in mind with gushing and having a pissing meltdown today with that place. But I will restructure. Well, they've changed their days from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And two people were off. But first they said one room was off. I didn't turn up. And then when I woke up, usually it's out of the system. By the time I have the afternoon nap. But um, it wasn't. And they said one of the people who did turn in was actually off for a week. Um, she was, I, I, I haven't seen her this bad um, for a long time. Um, usually she'll have a, I hate this job and that's it. But uh, for it to carry on after the afternoon nap, um, I'm hoping it's going to be a better day tomorrow. If she's not as bad as it was yesterday, then it's the right direction. Uh, yeah, she looks to me like for, for hope, inspiration, uh, and when she's like that, I don't know what to say. I mean, I can't as well use cliches because when you're in that kind of zone, it don't cut the mustard. You know what I mean? I feel helpless and hopeless at times with her looking for, like, for help, like, can you find a plan B? But, um, I have to try and think of something. I'm just hoping that um, when I when she comes down this morning and she gets herself ready and when I pick her up that uh, it's an improvement and now she was today because it, it's been bugging me all night like right there bugging away but at least yeah Back in communication again after a rather barren week last week, where you didn't say boo to a goose apart from the statement about cancer in September. Apart from that, it was so. Don't make the uh, same mistake this week. Um, anyway, I'll uh, find out. Last happening up there, making that bloody racket. Yeah, so we're shopping. We're going to the big Asda, I think. I do, I do like that small Asda at Scunthorpe. And it's a lot more convenient for her to go to the bank than it is at Doncaster, because at Doncaster, that's in the city centre. Where Scunthorpe is free parking all you know, weekend. Um, Yeah, try to make at least one Zoom a week. You were absent both Thursday and Sunday with no communication to say, oh, I can't do it. Try to make at least one Zoom a week, even if it's just uh, a comedy hour. Uh, sometimes it is nice to catch up, you see. Ah, <sighs> I really hope she has a, at least one or two people that was absent today turns in tomorrow because if one of them's on holiday which she didn't mention first of all it's just uh, that two people didn't turn in and said oh one of them's on holiday for a week so I'm called Emily um, I just hope then Sadhguru the Indian quote says hope the hope is hope for summer. you know you, you can't hope tomorrow's going to be a better day uh, it, tomorrow never comes is it is it one of these wise gurus that uh, has a lot of wise sayings and does these meditation things? Um, but I don't care. I, I do hope she has a better day tomorrow because unfortunately it's bugging here that gets it both barrels. Because obviously she has to vent it on somebody. Yeah, getting the smam in it's out of the way. Got the buying some more fucking work clothes. Matt's needs new school uniform. I've got him the same size as he had before, but for some reason it didn't fit him, so I had to buy some more. 
I didn't need fucking more school shoes. And getting my bloody garden sorted. It's fucking expensive September. Oh. Oh, matron. That's all the events uh, put into the group. I've done a 1.5 for that last week in November. Um, that make up for the little gap. What we're supposed to do with that, and then a, a nearly New Year's event. Although it's it might because the 28th to up there, they're nothing days. It's not Boxing Day. It's not Christmas Day. It's not New Year's Eve. So. It'll be a nearly New Year's Eve, which will be a, a lot better than a splash and dash, leaving here, etc. So, all in the group. Well, let's see it is for a, hopefully a better Tuesday than Monday. Ooh, black bin today. Got it ready, I think it front garden. Oh, it's out already. Well, she appears to be in a better frame of mind this morning, but uh, the proof will be in the pudding when I go and collect. Just before the plane leaves. So he did get the two things he wanted. He wanted an old truck and he wanted a big bass. And he got well, leave a new day off alone. I should be able to have a sup Alan and Bob tonight, and but Zooms match their days and match their days too. Well, slightly better ending today compared to yesterday with you know what. Although somebody there who this is. It was like somebody else, oh, I've seen plans for Christmas and oh, I'm scared. Now, whether she's doing it deliberately with, you know, with an earshot or she might be telling the truth, but, you know, it, it's been made in mince pies. Uh, on another note, I am getting a little bit concerned about, um, it was a plan that the previous government was considering. It had, been, it had been touted before then just disappeared off the radar. Um, but UK uh, Labour apparently are introducing it. I mean, it's this paper mile thing. And my understanding is, it, well, it's speculation. It hasn't actually come from Labour itself. Uh, and it's not on the main news, it's on, in the other newspapers and that, but... My my understanding was that it was to phase out uh, road tax and fuel duty and bring in paper mile instead. Uh, but for I understand, the same Labour might or I've been to, I've been pushed to do it by think tanks and that. Uh, or being like a, a band, different price bands. So, if you're a car which is less polluting, you pay less per mile than a good big SUV where you pay more per mile. I fucking hope they don't. And I don't pay any road tax as it is. So I'm, I'm going to be fucking worse off. I tell you something. Um, this will backfire if they bring this in. It will backfire. It will backfire. Oh, the set of cuts better not bring in paper mile. I mean, if they if they're knocked off. Fuel duty. Uh, well, I'm about raising it, and the can that can pay road tax, so that should be enough. But it's not come from the official Labour Party. It's just experts and think tanks are saying 
it could be brought in the next election. And I think, I think to some degree, the press don't help. You know what I mean? Like the Daily Express and it'd be on GB News or something on their website. But I haven't seen actually anything by Labour. I mean, I've heard another report on the theme which says uh, the, the more polluting cars that would pay per mile. Um, which is probably why electric cars are being paid road tax. There's so much speculation going on in in the newspaper press. It's bugging me. I'm trying not to let it bug me. Because this will make you think every time you go out, is this journey necessary? I mean, I, I, most travel I do is to and from work, but, that, but that's like about 31 mile times five per week. And then probably seven again for us when we go shopping once a week. So that's six lots of 31s. And that's excluding nipping out to thing or an occasional rare trip to the seaside, which is very rare. But it'll make you think twice about unnecessary journeys. But I'm going to pay more because like I don't pay any fucking road tax. They're set of bastards. They fucking better not do. Shut this bastard window. One of these shutters like stuck on a. It's like a suction cup or something. Get to end it, bastard week. Curry, match of day zooms. Shut this bastard window. One of these shutters, like, stuck on a. It's like a suction cup or something. Get to end up bastard week. Curry, match of day zooms. Yeah, just try and keep in touch now and again, Mr. Horn. Don't be absent like we were last week. Apart from that one text to cancel the flesh. Um, just try and keep in touch every now and again. Occas occasional video, uh, occasional text or something, you know what I mean? Don't be a stranger. Match of the day zooms. I'm looking forward to them. So oh, it's strange. They've changed the. Uh, normally, it'd be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know what I mean? Get it out of the way, but it's strange. But uh, it is what it is. Just got to hopefully think of a master plan at some point to get her out of that shit hole. I'm mumming and ahhing about the Persuaders, uh, that's the 70s uh, thing with Tony Curtis and Roger Moore. I'm struggling with the champions, I mean, I don't know, I'm struggling with nearest and dearest. I might give the Persuaders a chance. Just need to I've already given away Starsky and Hutch. Classic show that it is. It's that horrible packaging uh, like Hello Hello was with the slits in the cardboard. You know, the one that we hate. I've gladly got rid of fucking Columbo at last. That was that was horrible. Just crammed in literally like bloody sardines in a bastard tin. The 
be a bong shortly. Let's get some proper grub down my neck. <sighs> so we're, uh, we're expecting rain. Early, later on. Can't see it myself. But, uh, the truth. 